Now, uh, as you can see here, I have bought myself a few LMBs in my time, and this is just what I could find quickly. Now, when you're going to do free to air, you're going to want to get a linear um, LMB, something like this one. Uh, and they're not really all that big. Don't worry that, that they might be like really small. Like for example, this uh, uh, this uh, this Amico one. And on it it says, very funny thing is, on it you can see it says HD TV. Don't really worry about that. Uh, most uh, LMBs uh, will work for HD TV, and they're quite small. Like this one will work probably this one will work probably better than than others for a KU band. Um, now for but you for that you're gonna want to get that for uh, for uh, for KU band for North American free air you're gonna want to have something like this this uh, this LMB. What you're not gonna want to what you're gonna have a hard time with is something like this. This is uh, a circular LMB. Now there's still stuff that you can get in North America probably that you can get on circular, but very little. There's probably like a few channels that you can get with an LMB like this. These are mainly for uh, subscription uh, services, uh, so you're gonna have to, you know, for for that type of stuff for subscription stuff, they'll come and install it up for you and all that. But if you don't want to pay anything and have any fees, um, you're best to go with free air now. There is a service that uses an LMB. This one's broken, but an LMB like this, it has four outputs. What that means is you can have like actually four different TV sets um, to where it's going. So it has a sat A and sat B. Um, so you can actually get two satellites with this. And I have this on a dish um, that I can get 97 West because it is. This is actually a linear KU band um, LMB, so I can get. Uh, I can get 97 West and other free air satellites with this. This one, that's usually by some of the circular services. I can't get anything with that. So you have to have the right LMB in the right dish. So the main thing is you want to have a linear KU LMB. You can get an LMB that will be linear and circular. But you really want to get that linear one for your free to air, and you're gonna need the right size dish. I have this one here. This is a CKU band LMB that I used to have on my C band dish. Now I've have heard people say that they, they don't like these things. My experience with a, a C band and a KU band LMB, and you're gonna have to have this on a larger dish. You're you're gonna have to have this like on a C band dish. Um, that's gonna be I know people put them on one meter dishes and they can do that but the thing about that is you're only gonna get a few of the transponders you won't get the weaker transponders and uh, with, um, so I, I've seen people do that on, on YouTube and it's, it's really neat that they can do it but it is hard to do it's one of these brackets for the LMBs and you put multiple brackets like like this thing can go on it like that. I've had a hard time trying to set up one of these things. Um, and I've had other people say those things, I've had some people like Dan is the man tell me that these things are easy and motors are hard, but I've actually had found the opposite. That I find that mo uh, motors are easier and uh, the brackets are kind of difficult. So yeah, the key thing is you're gonna to wanna to have a linear KU LMB to get a, a satellite such as 97 West, not a um, not a circular. Circular, you're not gonna get much with it. Just won't work with uh, it just uh, won't work with uh, 97 West and other free to air satellites. So that's uh, one mistake I did make. Uh, I was trying to use an old subscription dish that used a circular. A circular LMB and it just didn't work so I was staying in the Sun for hours until I gave up and found out it just didn't work 
Now, if I were to review these two C-band LMBs, the Titanium C1 PLL and the DMS in International, this and then when I had this thing up, I was able to get most satellites, but then I was able um, a lot of the DVB-S2 stuff I wasn't getting with this, but it was, but I had gotten it before, and I think it was just the uh, position I had the LMB in. You have to have these dead in the center of, of your satellite dish to be able to get anything. As I said, I was able to get the C and KU band working, and then for some reason, some key KU band um, transponders I couldn't get because I tuned it specifically so that I could get C band on that. Just, you know, when you go out and get one and you go to your satellite store, which if you're like in an area like mine, you're going to hear it might be eBay, it might be some other online um, place where you can get uh, stuff. And if, it, if there's any stores out there that sell satellite stuff, give me a shout and let's uh, make a deal, maybe trade some. <laughs> looking for some sponsors and just uh, you can sponsor me by sending me some samples too and I'll review them <laughs>